day and oh I love Amiga days <laughs> well I've taken my Amiga from its cozy corner uh, over there and my cozy retro corner and um, put it here on my hobby desk table bench whatever it is so I'm gonna perform a bit of an uh, upgrade today and uh, which is gonna be a nice one which I've been needing for a while and um, yeah, well, today is stroke tomorrow. I'm not gonna, you know, deprive myself of any more sleep. It's already late in the night, and I'm already getting random spells of nausea. So <laughs> I'm not going to, you know, push myself now. It's not good for me. So today's upgrade is gonna be this thing. So this is EID, which is like a buffered inter interface for uh, connecting a CD-ROM uh, to this, as well as my you know, SD card hard drive. Uh, it's SD card, combat flash card, <laughs> one drive, and uh, it comes with a disc with EID99 and Allegro CDFS, which I'm gonna, you know, install. I'm not gonna do any intense hardware stuff in the sense of you know permanently changing anything. Uh, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect this up, test it, install it, and that's about it. Uh, you know, make sure everything works. Yeah, and I'll do the main, you know, stuff tomorrow, which actually will just be like a little bit, but one more thing <laughs> to make it all permanent. And you will see why in a very short while. So let's begin. So, uh, okay, so what I have here is basically the um, buffered interface uh, itself. So there will be an, well, I cannot call this an unboxing, it's more like an unwrapping. <laughs> so, um, I know people like unboxings. I always include them in my video as a bit of a treat. Okay, so here is the buffered interface itself, and uh, I will give it a bit of a twirl so you can see what it's about. Um, this is the part which you connect to your Amiga, and you, know, you connect it like this into the board, and. Underneath here, you will see a, uh, pr the primary port, which is the um, you know the main port of the first port, which you connect your hard drive, your main hard drive, or I should say solid state drive, really, um, you know, because these days it's a compact flash or SSD. Uh, sorry, compact flash or um, SD cards. Uh, so that's what the first part, the primary one. This is also the primary port, you know, which if you want a bigger hard drive, 3.5 inch hard drives, or... Okay, this one at the top here is the secondary port, the one which you connect your CD-ROM drive to, or your secondary whatever device it is, you know, zip drive, CD-ROM drive, whatever else it is. Um, and that's it. And then you just install your software, and it should all work out. So we will do that part today. And also, so the CD-ROM drive, which I've decided to install today, is an old laptop CD-ROM drive. And no, it is not a SATA. <laughs> it is a PATA. Uh, serial ADA, well, a parallel, it's a parallel ADA. And um, I'm gonna install this. My plan is to actually install this at the back, so it comes out at the back. Yes, I did this with one of my past Amigas, uh, the second one which I built. And then eventually sold. Yes, I know. Bad Maddie freaking sold two. Not one, but two nicely made 1200s. I managed to get one of these. It's basically a converter. You know, you connect it to here. And... And then you, you just connect that as normal IDE uh, cable to... Um, and that's the power, of course. The, uh, you know, you that you know the rest is ex self-explanatory. The slight issue is if you notice here, the pins at the back. You know, if you just you can short out <laughs> this thing, um, it's not very safe. Okay, so why is it almost freaking 3 a.m.? because um, I spent the entire house I spent the entire house <laughs> I I spent the entire two hours looking at, looking around the entire house just 
for this one freaking cable ID cables that become so rare around here now whereas before you just you know you turn under you turn over a cushion and it freaking you know ID cable pops out <laughs> okay, so let's plug this in here and okay, so the good thing about you know searching the entire house for this and spending that much time is that you know I turned over a lot of stones and I uh, found something which I thought was long gone and that is the original Amiga modulator, RF modulator which um, you know came with our original Amiga 500. I thought this thing was completely gone and I find it so cool you know it's like um, it's memories it's the first ever Amiga that we had nasty thing though I didn't like it because you know it kept coming loose aha uh -huh, this is a DVD writer I think and a CD writer too rewriter so um, I mean I know that it's kind of slow apparently uh, too slow to do that it's actually written here in the documentation that uh, this Allegro CDFS features okay the fastest Amiga CD file system the first Amiga file system to support the UDF the D video DVD format access to ISO 9660 level 1 2 and 3 Joylet, jo Joylet, Joliet, <laughs> freaking toilet, Windows 95, 98 long name, blah blah, Rock Ridge with Amiga extension, CDDA, UDF, sports Amiga protection bit, sports multi session, supports SCSI and Adapi devices, CDM, CDR, CDW, sports direct audio grabbing from standard audio CDs. Wow! Does it allow writing? Cool. <laughs> if it does, that's pretty cool. So anyway, let's um kind of excited. I want to try this out. Okay, so opening up the Amiga is very easy because I still haven't screwed it on from last time. And last time I messed around with it was a long time ago. So uh, when I was doing the last video uh, for YouTube. <laughs> so this is, you know, again, again, I have to kind of take time out and say, bad Maddie. <laughs> It's kind of, um, it's not good. I should, I should, you know, screw it back on. <laughs> it's like, I've always had a habit of leaving my Amigas open and it's not, as an unscrewed, and it's not good. I hope this, uh, I hope my drive fits in after this buffered interface. Because I'm planning to have my CD drive here like I did last time. Do you know what I mean? Like this. Now, as in coming out of the bag. This is why I'm not planning on doing the Pico Power or anything like this because I want to do this instead. Um, you know, I have when I kept saying I have this space reserved, it is for this. Now, okay, so let's see if this works out. Let's hope it does. Let's hope it actually supports the drive uh, from the underneath it rather than um, what's he call it getting in its way. But I don't think it's going to because this is huge. <laughs> no. Well. No, it will not because the keyboard has to come. No, that's not gonna work. So, my solution to this is. Tell me look. What can we do? But why am I worrying so much? You know, it's like I can always install a CD here, this drive. How did I install it before? You know, I mean, I've, I, did, I installed it here before. How? How did I do that? I did this method, the, that thing, you know, and it worked. Why not now? Anyway, I can install this here. I've got enough space here. I, I can fold this cable underneath the floppy drive. Yeah, I can. And install the drive here. So why am I worried about that? Why does it have to be like that? Why am I worried about getting extender cables and, and all that? You know, I could be so dim sometimes. <laughs> you know, so just, yeah, chill. <laughs> Sometimes things are not as complicated as we make them in our head. Right, okay. So, let's connect this. Um... Okay, so we connect the CD room to the secondary here. And we just connect that. Yeah. I'm very sorted. Just put that under there. And yeah, 
yes, that um, card is insulated from the underneath, so please don't look crazy at me. Okay, so we're missing this dude. We need him to be here. He has to be there. Let's turn this on and hope for the best. <laughs> Everything is connected, even the one in the seat room over there. Okay? Uh, why is that on like this? Oh, it's trying to access the CD room. Okay, it just switched off like this. So let's. Okay, so let's install this EID thing. Let's pretend to install. I never got why people do that pretend to install. Okay, installation. May I change the sort of sequence here? Okay, did it detect? Yes. No. That's, it did not detect. Why? Oh no, it did. Sorry. Here it is. <laughs> okay. Okay. I must investigate. Okay, proceed. Okay, I'll never see if it's proceed. an easier installation than the, uh, the older one which I had that idea of idea idea fix 97 or something like this I, I had it's so cool if you work it works it fix it up I'm happy <laughs> a UI cover disk yes some vectors and not in that blah blah blah. I know because the ROM has changed. <gasps> oh, CD audio. Let's test. Because I'm wondering if the CD audio comes through. I won, will it? Why would it? Because it doesn't have. Um, it's not connected to the C Play CD. Obviously, you're not gonna hear any sound, are you? Because it's not connected throughout the Amiga's audio. It needs a mixer, but how, where are you supposed to connect that on a drive like this? Through, because obviously it's only connected through IDE, so it's not going to. So how does how do these play CD CDs anyway? If I'm gonna play um, C, uh, CD32 games, I'm gonna need to find the audio on this thing because it requires audio. I shouldn't be checking these out now. I should be checking them out, and I've got everything nice and set and comfortable. I'm curious, I cannot wait. I need a format start here. CD, uh, AF CD view does not appear to be installed in subscription storages. Of course, this right protected is a freaking CD. <laughs> no, oh, okay, I need to update eyebrows. Okay. Hmm. It's browsing on the CD. It's the first time I've actually done it this way, like this. Oh, this is so cool! This is how it would be like using internet on an Amiga, wouldn't it? Because I've never done that, by the way. Oh, that's that dude! What's his name? Ben someone. I remember from Amiga format. What's his name? Ben Vost or something like this? Oh, you know what? I want to install everything hardware-wise properly. This is just, this is so cool. I want to enjoy this, you know, properly. Hey, look, 1978. I'm living in retro time. Anyway, so <laughs> I'm going to kind of get some sleep now. And I'm gonna, even though I'm too excited to be tired. Does that make sense? Too excited to be tired. Yeah, it does make sense. Yeah, um, so, uh, so 
I'm gonna be doing this, um, finishing this off, the hardware side of it, fitting everything nice tomorrow. I like how that also serves as a CD drive light as well as a hard drive. I forgot about that completely. Okay, so it's still night and I've just realized something, but I didn't even realize uh, at the time. It didn't occur to me um, that um, it does not have the audio port because on these drives you have the audio obviously within and um, this should have an extra port for audio out and this one doesn't. This one's a data only one. So I'm not gonna put this inside. So this is gonna take like a few days. So I will wrap it up for now. You saw some testing here, and in the next video I will be, you know, completing everything. So thank you for watching, and do check out my other videos. Uh, I do have some Commodore 64 and Amiga videos, also many others, you know. Uh, so do check out that, and for now I say adios.